About a year ago, I mentioned Gordon Murray's T50 in a video, where we talked about the highest revving cars on the planet. Now the T50 is a crazy $2.6 million hypercar with tons of cool features, like a fan that sucks it to the ground and an amazing V12 that revs all the way to 12,000 RPM. Now Gordon Murray, the dude behind the T50, also designed one of the greatest hypercars of all time, the McLaren F1. Now what should you do if you want a car designed by this legend but you aren't a multi-millionaire? Well I have just the car for you. I feel like a salesman. I have just the car for you Mr. Anyways, uh, the T33 is also powered by a car with 4 litre V12 like the T50. It still looks really cool but you do lose the huge fan and instead of seating for 3, now you'll only have space for 2 people so it does lose a few points on practicality. So how much do you get off the price tag when you remove a fan and the weird seating? Well the price drops from 2.6 million to 1.85 million, that's one f***ing expensive fan. Anyways, as I'm sure you know, 1.85 million is still quite a bit of money, but I have to say, this Gordon Murray dude doesn't settle for anything less than perfection. So yes, it is an expensive car, but it is pretty special. Now Gordon Murray believes everything on a car should serve a purpose. I mean look at the car, there is no huge wings or canards, massive lip spoilers, nothing like that. He actually says you can look at the car and point at anything and anything you point at will serve a purpose. All this minimalism means that the T33 is super light, coming in at barely over a ton. Remember this car has a V12 in the back and it only weighs 1080 kilograms. The entire car is made out of carbon fiber which is bonded to a aluminium frame. Now for power, like I said, she is powered by a 4 litre V12 from Cosworth, but let's dive a little deeper. This dry sum 65 degree 4 litre V12 uses gear driven camshafts and makes a peak 607 horsepower at 10,500 RPM. The rev limiter is set at 11,100 RPM. Now remember the T50 goes up to 12,100 RPM. So this is an entire 1000 RPM less, but 11,000 RPM is still nuts. Now most really high revving naturally aspirated engines don't produce a lot of torque and this one is no different. She only makes 450 Nm and peak torque only hits at 9000 RPM. But remember the car only weighs 1 ton so 450 Nm should be plenty. Now how will the power be sent to the wheels? Well that's up to the buyer. You can either get it in a 6 speed manual or an automatic. Both are super light and both will have an optional overdrive 6th gear to improve high speed cruising and efficiency. Now if I had enough money to buy one of the 100 T33s that will be sold, I would get her in a manual. Imagine ringing out this V12 all the way to 11,000 RPM and then manually shifting it to the next gear. That just sounds like heaven. But that's enough on the power plant and the transmission, on to styling. Now styling is preference, so what I say doesn't really matter, but I do like most of the car. I don't know how to feel about the different color seats, it's a bit weird, um, and then the steering wheel is, is dog ugly, I'm not gonna lie, it's just not a pretty steering wheel for a car that costs 1.8 million, I feel I could have done better, I don't know, it just doesn't fit in with everything in my opinion, I don't like it, but the rest is great. Um, I really went into depth on the, the design there, eh? <laughs> wow. Anyways, conclusion. This car isn't built to be the fastest car in a straight line. It's not even built to be the fastest in the corners. This car is all about the driving experience. The feeling of driving a car, pushing it to its limits. This is like the ultimate driver's car. And I can already hear the GT3 RS owners typing, well, actually, like really? Anyways, this is a really cool car that very few people will have the pleasure to experience. And for those few people, congrats. I hate you. Now that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. I've got many more videos just like this one on new cars, older cars. There's a, there's a bunch of crap. Just get through it. See if there's something you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?